met little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky, came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice. He was going to kill me. But he hit harder than George. His reach is longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sonny Liston. I'm experienced now, professional. Charles been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple of times. I'm bad. Been chopping trees. I've done something new for this fight. I'd have wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I don't tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. Fast. Fast! Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast! Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you! I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I want to see this bag move. Pick up the pace. Don't slow down now. Keep moving that bag. No one's going to move that bag for you. Tonight, both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. 
Muhammad Ali's supremely confident here. Look at him make his way down to the ring. You can just see it in every step that he takes. to the ring you can see it in his eyes you just know he's got that feeling tonight introducing first fighting out of Louisville the greatest of all time Muhammad Ali his adversary hailing out of Vancouver Rigon Jew All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. The entourages and the corner men have gone off. Two men just standing opposite each other. Finally, nothing to do Keep but the fight. Bus. Round number one of this championship bout. What's it quite like the atmosphere of a championship fight? Ali's jab has to be first and foremost on his to-do list, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, I would say so. You ever see that commercial where the guy says, how do you spell relief? Sure. Well, it's kind of like, how do you spell victory in this fight? J-A-B. That's exactly the way you go. That's what he wants. What an excellent two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali with a right hand. Teddy, I assume many times. Good, solid right hand land. Solid. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. And a right hand lands flush. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Flush right hand to the body. Ali's combination punching is working well here. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Big left hand from Ali. Crashes home with the uppercut. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. And that's the end of round one. Ali's in control of things in his mind right now. Just look at that attitude over in the corner. You can tell they want a repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, he's her big, big shot he just scored with. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Move your head. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Keep working the body. A huge 
Reach uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Good. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Muhammad Ali. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Muhammad Ali is on the... Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Big shot there. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one. Maybe six inches. Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Up top with the right hand. And now he scores with that left to the body. Ali's rocked, and both men are damaged in this round. Wild stuff. Oh, what a left hand. There it is. Muhammad Ali goes down. Ali is down, and his opponent put him there with a precision, perfectly placed power punch. up after being knocked down be interesting to see how he responds here you know we've always been able to see how he responds in a physical way in an athletic way great i mean he has everything now we're going to see if he has the real package the full package what is in the heart what is in the soul what is in the mind of muhammad ali and that has some fight to it that right hand by muhammad ali Ali's trying to keep the good times going here. Scored a knockdown earlier, and now scoring with more punches. Yeah, what he's got to do is what you just said. Punches, plural. He makes sure that he doesn't start looking for that one punch at a time because he's hurt him. Keep putting them together. You have to keep him Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pull. Fires right back at him. Look at that hand speed with the hook from Ali. Trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent, just wasting some minutes. Yeah, it takes two to tangle, though. He's wasting minutes, and his opponent's going along with it. He's cooperating. He shouldn't be. He's going to be sorry later when he recovers and he gets after him. Taking away a body shot with the right hand. Uppercut by Ali. He is not in good shape. He could be. Oh! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Fight. Muhammad Ali's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your and still champion of the world, the greatest of all time.
greatest of all time, still the champion of the world. Ali wins it. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, wishing you a great night. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Good Tessitore evening, alongside Dr. Teddy Atlas. Good, Good evening and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. A much anticipated rematch in our main event and these fans are really looking forward to it. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Muhammad Ali is making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen. But they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. In the third corner, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time. The entourages and the corner men have gone off. Two men just standing opposite each other. Finally, nothing to do but fight. Round number one of this championship bout. Nothing quite like the atmosphere of a championship fight. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward very steadily. Teddy, I understand some of the obstacles that this counterpuncher faces from an offensive standpoint of what he wants to try to do against this outside fighter. But what about defensively? What does he need to be conscious of defensively? Well, he can't fall asleep, first of all. And, you know, some of that is consistent with what he has to do no matter who he's fighting. Counter punches are usually pretty good defensively. I mean, that's how they create their offense, though. They make you miss. So, you know, he's got to make sure he stays on his piece and cues that, you know, when he's walking after the guy, he's going to have to go after him a little bit. That, you know, he's ready for the guy to stop and pot shot. You know, it's not like when the guy's coming at him and he's ready all the time. He's got to make sure that he's ready in different situations. How about that left hand? Blocks, cooks, cracked by a right hand. What a big shot. He goes down. Now he's got to beat the count of 10. Still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now is you're a trainer the way you taught him in the gym is... Did you see that? Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Ooh. the fight. Ali's dream becomes a reality. A first round knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner and still champion of the world, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. The greatest of all time, still the champion of the world.
Ali wins it. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, wishing you a great night. Welcome to our pay-per-view special, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan with a much-anticipated world championship on the line tonight. Twelve rounds of heavyweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Muhammad Ali's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. His poise is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. Introducing first, fighting out of the the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali! All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. A great setting here for this championship fight. It should be on the bucket list of every sports fan to come to a fight of this magnitude. Round one, now underway. Well, I can tell you personally what's going on in the trainer's mind, in his heart. He's thinking about all the years that he's worked to get here. And he's thinking about the last couple months of training camp. Have I done everything? Have I made my fighter face everything he has to? There's a lot on the line for a lot of people. Matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy. A power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, it's not just power, it's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. No better way to sap somebody's endurance, mentally and physically, than going downstairs. Halfway through this round here, Ali's jab lands well. Big left hand from Ali. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Body shot, the left hand. Nice combination by Muhammad Ali. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Brings a big power punch. It landed well. Well, we were talking about getting into the kitchen. He went in there and he tore apart that kitchen. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. Fires right back at him. Great counter punch. And I love how he moved off to the side and then landed it. End of this round. Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, Hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Customato, the great trainer. And he said to you, What's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. I'll tell you that much. Because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Just 
did a big uppercut. Jesus. And bang, and away he goes. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. What? What? There's that right hand he scores with. Good looking uppercut that time. Flush right hand to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Come on, get focused! Get up. Get up. He just missed that shot up top, and he ties up on the inside. There's no need to be on the inside. The and now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Ali's the kind of guy who is going to exude confidence. That comes from being unbeaten. And he engages in the clinch. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Ten seconds to go in this round. Ali's in control of things in his mind right now. Just look at that attitude over in the corner. You can tell they want a repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. More intelligent than this. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick and then get back into the flow. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. You can see he's trying to... He is damaged badly there. Big, big shot comes crashing home. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Muhammad Ali's hit hard that time. What a solid hook to the body. Good, solid right hand land. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of his business, the history of his business is... Oh, he is stuck. Solid. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one. Maybe six inches. Too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, the greatest and still champion of the world, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is still heavyweight champion of the world. For Teddy Atlas, this is Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us ringside.
go speak. Wanna see more bounce in those legs. on this grand spectacular pay-per-view stage. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my partner Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Hey, the first one was so good they're gonna do it again. We got a much anticipated rematch in our main event. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Rice is on his way to the ring. You can see it in his eyes. You just know he's got that feeling tonight. In the middle corner, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. And he's up across the ring, hailing out of Guantanamo, Price. over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. As long as they've been lacing up gloves, fighters have looked forward to this. A championship fight. Round one is underway. In a matchup like this, Teddy, with a power puncher against a fast fighter, who has the advantage the longer the fight goes on? Well, almost always it's going to be the power guy because he's not going at a fast rate. He's saving himself. He's placing his punches. The quick guy, he's letting it all go. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Good flush shot upstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Price. A sound combination by Muhammad Ali. Well targeted right hand by Price. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Good defensive skill. Price is left working well that time. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Good right hand. Rice's left landing well. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole, and he filled that hole. Ten clicks of the talk. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Price is really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent. Laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round, I would just look forward for confidence to do more. Muhammad Ali is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Ali still has to be careful here, Teddy, but it does appear that he's not on wobbly legs any longer. No, it does, and it also appears that he has a more serious attitude. He's not clowning like he was earlier. 
Little head knocking with that right hand. Price is left now getting into the mix. We always see great athletes week in and week out, but Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball. Everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well, but basketball players... They have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Well placed hook there. Muhammad Ali's go, combination go. punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck at moments. Blocks the headshot. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And that's the end of round two. Price's pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent doesn't. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Not able to land the uppercut. Swing back. Keep moving. Keep moving. A big counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's crushed by a huge uppercut. Super two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Nice strike after catching one by Price. Stay away from those. Come on. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. A good, clean, old one-two by Muhammad Ali. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Locks that punch. Gunning him down with a headshot. That's exactly what the corner wants. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Price is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Good step back counter punch there. Protect yourself. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And that's the end of round three. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Price is in control so far, two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy, though. Yeah, he has been the busier guy. And also, he's been a better real estate agent. You know, location, location, location. He's been in the right position for his style. He's been in tight. The old one-two scores for him. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. That's a razor sharp. That's a big right hand there. Price is trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. You know, he's trying to block those shots. You can't block two, three, four, five, six shots at a time. They get through. And now you're seeing the beard that this guy possesses because he went from stunned and damaged to staying right upright. Oh, this is like Santa Claus's beard. I'm telling you right now. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Ali's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Bryce is able to land a good, solid left hand. Shake it off.
Muhammad Ali is able to avoid that, that punch. That was a fine block by Muhammad Ali. Stay away from the inside. Focus. Go, go, go. Parries that punch intended for the head. Price is doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Feels like he's in a rainstorm. One, two, three, four. Five. Price is going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by Price. Ali's landing a combination. Big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Muhammad Ali is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Move it. Good move job. It. it was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Muhammad Ali. Price is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And just like that, there it is! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Price's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters get tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. The start of the sixth round. Price's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, Price is snapped by a right... Oh! Can you believe that? What a huge punch! You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated. The ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. Look at this. Muhammad Ali's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count.
For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, wishing you a great night.